Hello and welcome to another chess opening video where this week we continue on the Alakine's defense with the last video we'll be doing in the Alakine defense uh, series. And that is the John Tracy Gambit. Now this is an opening that you'll probably run into because your opponent makes a mistake and there's no content really to find on the internet. I have looked up chess.com's openings database for the John Tracy Gambit where it said this is the John Tracy Gambit, but I couldn't find any games under the John Tracy Gambit. So what I did is I started looking at the main line from what Stockfish says is the best way of looking at it. So I would say about one out of every 20 games, you'll run into the John Tracy Gambit. So this might be something that you might wanna look at. So the John Tracy Gambit starts off with white going to E4, we go Knight to F6, just like in the Alakine defense. And instead of doing any of the normal moves that you would normally see, they go Knight to F3, gambiting the pawn. What they're gambiting, I still don't know. What we wanna do is we wanna take it on e4. The best thing for white to do in this move is to push out the knight to d3, forcing the knight over here to d6. And then for white, the best thing for them to do is move to f4. Even at this point, black is still up a point. I do not know what the gambit is to lead to development. This is probably one of the worst gambits that white can do. We will then push up to e6. They can push up to d4 and we kick out a knight again on c6. They'll then kick up to c4 again. We move up the knight over here to e4 and the queen comes over here to c2. And from here, it's there's not really much of a theory to go off of. You just kind of play from here on out. There isn't a lot to there isn't a lot to really go off of. Like if we if we take it all the way back, one of uh, one of the uh, John Tracy gambits that you'll see is when when you do take the bishop will come out here to c4. And what I'll do is I'll move over here to d6, attacking the bishop. And they'll usually push back. And you can kind of push up here. They develop the knight. You develop the knight again. And even at this point, you're up a point. Like, there's not much to do. Just make sure that when you take that pawn, drop the knight back down here to d6 and just start developing your pieces and you'll be best off from there on out. So that's it for the John Tracy Gambit and the Alakine Defense Series. If you like that video, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Zach Slagowski. From here on out, I will drop a compilation video of all the Alakine Defense videos so it's all in one compact uh, video. Next up, we're going to be going over the Rui Lopez and all the numerous different openings that and variations that you will see with the Rui Lopez. So it's a long one. It's a doozy. I'm excited to get it started and I'll see you then. Bye.